Hi, I got a very special treehouse beer. It's double shot with Ethiopian Misty Valley coffee. I've had, I think I've only had the six anniversary double shot before on tap, and it was very, very good. So I'm expecting to like this one. So I think this coffee is supposed to be really good. It's got like berry flavors and really nice milk chocolatey flavors, which I enjoy. So this is 9.1% alcohol. It was bottled, I'm pretty sure, just a few days ago. I just bought it um, a couple days ago. And I have a friend visiting, so I might have to cut off this review real quick. But try to make it quick. So this one, I had it out, out of the fridge for a little bit, so it shouldn't be ice cold. And there's no lactose in this. It's just a coffee imperial stout. Doesn't look super pitch black. I could sort of see through it when I was pouring it there. It's got... Pretty pretty good head. Oh yeah, that the head's really dark though. Yeah, that looks really nice. When you get it on tap, they always have a little bit of a creamier head. I guess you could have poured this a little harder. But I think maybe having it be a little less carbonated might be good to get some of the notes out of it. Oh yeah, that smells like the best. <sighs> like the best mocha frappuccino ever, I guess. Maybe you want to say cappuccino, that's a little fancier. Mm. I definitely get a lot of like chocolate covered berries and cherries mixed in in there, but very, very milk chocolatey. It's not like dry, dark fruit and just all roast. That's what I don't like in some Imperial Stouts that have coffee that it's a little bit thinner. I want some, you know, some malted milk ball. It's definitely in here, but it's got a real deep, dark chocolate quality, like 100% fancy, Dark chocolate. <sighs> yeah, but there's no chocolate in it. No lactose or anything. Which is really nice when you can get that out of it. And it smells like it's not going to be too sweet. Because some of the Treehouse lactose or maple syrup stouts I've had were really good. But they're so sweet. It was like, oh, this, this one sip's really, really nice. But I can't, you could, I couldn't drink a whole bottle. I'm not a pastry boy. And this one's also 9.1, which... I guess Treehouse hasn't done a super, super strong one, but this is one of their stronger ones. Um, yeah, a lot of the pastry boys, the really high ratings stouts that have flavorings are really, really strong, but because they're Treehouse, people make an exception, I guess. <laughs> and the beers are good. Mm. Yeah. Still a really big, rich, creamy body. But the coffee... Mm. Yeah, bring. I, I'm still getting those chocolate covered berry notes. Yeah, the coffee dries it out. It's it's it is pretty sweet though. Still, Treehouse. I think they they released some like eight percent hoarder with nothing added to it that maybe is a little bit drier. But it seems like all their big stouts tend to be rather sweet, even without the lactose and other crap. There's some interesting vanilla notes too. I'm not getting much smoke or intense roast. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. I'm not getting any booze. It just warms up your, your throat a teeny bit. And some very light, spicy notes. I guess it's like vanilla, vanilla. I kind of see it as being like a sort of a sweet but slightly spicy char character uh, uh, that you get from vanilla beans. Um, I'm not getting anything like cinnamon. I definitely don't add it, but or maybe it's kind of nutmeggy. I don't know. The nose is getting a little bit hotter now. But that's a fantastic beer, as I expected. And I think I really like this variety of coffee because, and I don't know if I, I bet they did a milder roast on this one. It was definitely good. They say they smell chocolate cheesecake. Maybe, but I don't know how I'd get the cheese exactly. But yeah, if it's too dark, of a big of a stout, and then they add really dark roasted espresso or um, or like French or Italian roast, sometimes that's just too much roast for me. I wouldn't mind a little bit of the smokiness, honestly. I enjoy that, a little bit of a campfire going on, but this kind of helps all the really interesting qualities of the coffee bean come out, I think. Mm. And the mouthfeel is just velvety. 
and rich. I'm just barely avoid being syrupy. Very good beer. I, I give us like a four and a half. I'm definitely gonna look out for this variety of coffee bean, the Misty Valley, because it seems like it's right up my alley. And four and a half for this. I'm pretty happy with that. Just a little sticky on the lips, maybe. But if you like really milk chocolatey, sweet berry notes in your coffees, then this is the double shot to trade for. I would say if you want dark Sumatra and stuff like that, not exactly, that's more like the regular, the more standard double shots. I'm really glad I was able to get a bunch of bottles of this. So that's it. Bye.